Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. This week, we're going to talk about Pillars of Eternity. Pillars of Eternity is a little bit bigger than most of the games I usually talk about, but it has something really interesting in design that uh, I wanted to dive into, and it actually didn't do as much in sales as I was anticipating it doing. Um, this is what is honest. I can wholeheartedly recommend this. If you liked Baldur's Gate, if you like Planescape Torment, this is a great return to that sort of CRPG and shows that that CRPG gameplay with some minor tweaks, uh, like the ability to fast run, is really viable and vibrant even today. So if you like those sort of games, just go, go get this if you haven't, because it's fantastic. Uh, that said, there was one choice in it that I thought was really, really interesting to me. Um, in these type of games, in these big RPGs, we all know that lore and world building is an important part, but we very often in games struggle with how to deliver that, and we're always trying to find an answer. And I think the answer that they give is unique and specific to their game. Can't be really delivered on in a lot of other games, but it points us to this core fundamental problem, because for many of us, while some of us do go through and read every, every book that you can find in a library across the game world, very often these sort of games struggle because they either deliver a lot of the lore and the background of the world and the history of the world in book format, right, where you have to go out of your way to read it, or in just exposition, where some character will exposition dump on your main characters in a way that's not really engaging and in some ways is immersion breaking because the character has to tell your main character things that they as a citizen of that world should otherwise know. Like sometimes you don't notice in the moment but if you ever go back and stop and think about it a lot of times in RPGs the reason that we have amnesia, the reason that we're a foreigner, the reason that uh, we have characters who who for some reason don't know the basic facts about the world they live in is so that way they can get it explained to them so that way we as the player can know it because it's supposed to add to our immersion in the world. In Pillars of Eternity, your character has the ability to access people's memories. And so they've scattered throughout the world random vignettes, not books, not books about the history or the lore of the world, but instead a vignette where you go up to a character and it talks about their past and it will tell you about one of their past lives and so it gives you this moment this tiny scene from another era in this world and that is much more immersive and much more effective than how you often see this lore dump format uh, and so this week I if you have any interest in lore and world building it's not the correct answer for your game it's not the correct answer for every game but it is a really interesting look at someone trying to approach the problem of how do we do this world building, how do we deliver on uh, our, our lore and our background and our history in a more engaging way than simply history books dropped around the world or this immersion breaking info dump. Uh, and so yeah, this week, with that in mind, James recommends Pillars of Eternity. See you all next week.